This is Insider Medicine in 60 from California. Caffeine may raise the risk of miscarriage. In a study of over 1,000 pregnant women, those who consumed 200 milligrams or more of caffeine, the equivalent of 10 ounces of coffee or 25 ounces of tea, were twice as likely to have a miscarriage. While these results conflict with those from other studies, pregnant women should consider limiting caffeine intake. From Minnesota, genetic variations can predict who might better respond to certain blood pressure lowering medications. In an evaluation of nearly 40,000 patients, genetic variability in the MPPA gene predicted better response to some blood pressure lowering medications. The findings in pharmacogenetics in general could one day help to determine how medicines will be prescribed to maximize efficacy and lower adverse events. And finally from Italy, a new study suggests that low levels of vitamin E are associated with declines in physical function in the elderly. In a study of nearly 700 adults 65 years of age and older, those with low levels of vitamin E at the start of the study were more likely to experience a physical decline during the three year study period. Low levels of vitamin E have been linked to increased oxidative stress, atherosclerosis and neurodegenerative disorders. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.